Yeah, Chase, just what was going through your head uh, as you were lining up for that 51-yard kick, and, and what did you do on the kick that allowed you to be successful and make it? Just the same thing. We worked all camp, really. Um, not much really goes through your head differently depending on a kick, whether it's a PAT or a long field goal like that one in the fourth quarter. Just kind of do the same thing. I go out there with Maddie Paxton. We've done it hundreds of times before, and uh, we got a real good chemistry. So just, you know, go out there and make the kick. I'm curious to know how you've adjusted the last two years to the to the timing on the sideline of going out. With this up-tempo offense, it can be first down to fourth down in like 30 seconds. How have you adjusted to that? Yeah, really um, with our fast-paced offense, you know, we can get in field goal range real quick. And in the span of like a minute or two, you know, I'm up to kick sometimes. So um, really it's just being locked in on the sideline. When offense is up, I'm kind of over by the net, just getting mentally prepared, getting ready. If we do get in field goal range, being ready to go. Chase, you only had one opportunity from 50-plus last year. Do you feel like there's a, a different trust in you now that you're a little bit more of a known commodity with the coaching staff that he might send you out there more frequently? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, the coaches make their decisions however they feel. Uh, they, they've seen what I can do in camp, and they got confidence in me, and I'm extremely thankful for that. Coach Heupel, Coach Eckler, they're amazing coaches. I love playing for them. And, uh, yeah, for them to put me out there for that opportunity uh, this past game was awesome, and I'm glad it worked out. Uh, Brad? That, that's not the easiest place to kick by history. They don't have a ton of 50-yard field goals made in there. What, what was kind of pregame warm-ups like? What, what did it feel like? Does it feel different there? Or was did, did you find it not any different really than any other place you would kick? Yeah, it, it was honestly pretty similar to uh, a lot of other places. The conditions weren't really too bad. The grass there is a little uh, like kind of loose, you know, on uh, one of the – pre-game warm-up kicks on one of the PATs actually slipped. So we had to move it around a little bit on the PAT because that spot got kind of torn up a little bit throughout the game. But uh, overall conditions weren't really too bad. I tried not to pay big attention to really any of that. You just kind of got to go into the game and deal with it. And, uh, yeah, so conditions overall weren't too bad. Chase, I think we talked to you in the spring, but what's your range? What, what are you telling the coaching staff that you're good from in terms of distance? Yeah, um, most days I, I'm pretty comfortable up to 55. Uh, that's, uh, I feel like I have a good consistency of hitting it from there. Um, you know, depending on the conditions, though, it may change depending on what direction, where the wind's at. But, um, yeah, I would say distance-wise, 55 is where I'm comfortable. Anything else for Chase? All right, cool. Thanks, Chase. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Chase. Thank you, guys. Well, Aaron, you didn't want to walk.